Hello, it's me again. I just, I was just thinking about a lot of, um, uh, I was just walking around, like I was just going to the gym and I've seen a lot of men, no offense, but their wives weren't the most beautiful. You know, they were like overweight or some of them were even obese and the guy does not look bad, you know, like the guy looks fairly fit for his age, you know. You wouldn't say he's extremely rich, you know, he's just a normal dude, but you can tell he's good looking from a man's perspective and but his wife was just not, no offense, she was not very eye pleasing, you know, and it just made me think how many men just settle as they grow up, you know, every when we are young, when you're like 14, 16, everyone has like very high standards always thinking oh i'm going to get a supercar i'm going to get a lambo i'm going to be a multi-millionaire i'm going to be going on holiday every month i'll have the most beautiful girlfriend you know i want megan fox that's what i wanted so it's those kind of thoughts but as you grow as you get later on your standards just keep on dropping either because you break up let's say you're in your 20s and you break up with a 10 and then you're just there like damn you know let me aim for a little bit lower so that this time she doesn't break up with me so then you go for a seven but then she rejects you then you go for a four and then before you know it you're 30 and you're like damn i don't want to be alone and you settle with a three you know and that's yeah no, that's that's the life of many many people and it just made me think since i was young i would never lowered my standards for anything you know if if what you want is a six and you go for it then you fulfilled your purpose you know but i think many people many men are not like that i always wanted to be a multimillionaire when you, when i was young and i'm still striving towards it i'm nowhere near that and that's the reason why i'm documenting my whole journey you know so that i'm not the most good looking right now i'm still going to the gym i'm still skinny i'm still broke but nevertheless i am pursuing that for which i was made for from god and as long as you fulfill your purpose and that means that sometimes you know when you have such high standards it does mean that you have to be alone it has it means that you may i decided for the last three to four years that yeah i'm not going to pursue any women at all it means that i'm going to be lonely for for quite a lot of time and a lot of people cannot do that and the reason is because right now I cannot attract the level of women that I think I deserve and that I want also. I cannot attract the tens that I want, the nines and the eights. I cannot. It's just, I'm just realistic about it. And that's not. And that, it doesn't mean that I will never be able to. Yes, of course I will be able to. But it, that also means that I have to put in the work for to be able to attract that sort of energy towards me. Now... What am I doing in order to do that? You know, I'm raising my value as a man. I'm, I'm becoming more good looking by going to the gym. I'm bulking right now, so I look horrible. You know, I have a belly and whatnot, but I'm not skinny anymore. You know, like before, I'm not just skin and dick. You know, now I actually can feel the frame of a t-shirt, of a shirt. So I look healthy, you know. So the next step will be to, of course, after I'm done with the bulk to shred down and look good and then bulk again and do the same procedure three or four times until i've achieved my desired look i've only started this in january so i'm very new to all of this but nevertheless i'll stick to it you know my frame is healthy i know i am worthy so i don't have those self-defeatist thoughts in my head I wake up every day thankful to God and I move forward and I try to win as much as I can every inch every one every percentage gain that I can get either at the gym or in the business or in the YouTube channel that I have right now and you don't ne you never want to settle you know and in your career also you'll see that as you start to get a little bit more money you start attracting certain people especially women you may start attracting you know before you wouldn't get any attention but you might get attentions of fours or sixes for example and that's what you want then of course by any means settle with them but that's not what i want 
and I can see already I get attention even though it's been like very short in my journey a couple of years and already can see so but there will come a lot of attention with that and you just have to you cannot just stick to this level you need to continue to move on until you you reach the desired level that you wish and for that reason i encourage you guys to sometimes you just have to spend a couple of years monk mode mode or in your cave or whatever you want to call it just working on yourself until you achieve those goals and then later on you can just you know um live true to yourself to be honest because you don't want to live a fake life where like you're saying you're happy li living in the same area or in that whatever house you settle for when in reality when you were 14 and 16 you had such big dreams and now you're just settling when you don't want to when you're settling when you want to that's different but when you settle forcefully in a way where ah, uh, you know 27 i'm 28 let's be reasonable i cannot get that when in reality you can you just have to put up a lot more effort than you thought you would that you would have to and then it just ends up being you a 40 or 45 with a wife that you don't like in a shitty house that you never wanted but it's good for the kids because it's next to the schools you know but you couldn't give two fucks to be honest so it's really important to know what you want, go for it and never settle. And only, only, only stop for the journey when you think this level is good enough. But no level is ever good enough, for sure. Especially if you're a man that has very high ambition and always had high ambition. And a note on that is very important to sometimes move out from the place that you live because people that settle usually flock together that's why it's called a settlement certain areas are good for let's say for example you're low in money you decide to move out from a high expensive place let's say you live in london and you decide to move out a little bit out in the suburbs because it's cheaper you stay there for a couple of years you know you save some money you let your business run and then you're like okay you know what uh, this place has saved its, pur its purpose now i'm going to uh, move out to an area that where winners flock around like dubai for example or new york or london even you know so i'm lucky because i live with my parents so i have a really good support system so i have the help that i need to succeed so having family around really helps a lot of people don't have that so i'm grateful for it and as much you know um uh, comments i get from my friends like oh why haven't you moved out you know you should experience life well i will experience life don't worry about that but right now i'm just saving cash for my business for my youtube channel and then when i deem it worthy i will move out because when i move out i'll move out big i won't have to move out and then come back that's something that i never want to do so don't settle live truly don't live a lie and move forward thank you